Good morning and welcome back, or evening or afternoon, whenever you're watching this. But either way, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to go over a few products that I picked up at, where'd I go? Field and Stream. My mind went blank. But let's see what we got on this video. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, uh, share it with your friends, share it with your mama, whoever. Just share this and let's make this channel grow phenomenally. I'm hoping to hit at least 100 subscribers by the end of this month. So I need y'all's help to help me achieve that. And it only, only works if y'all... Hit that subscribe button and share it. Tell everybody you know. Alright guys, start things off. One product that I picked up, this was new from them. This was Bobby Garland's Crappie Baits. All these products are going to be crappie fishing related. Uh, except for two. But these are their electric chicken. And have like two little swim tail type things and two arms that's gonna be the first one second one is a bone white chartreuse kind of like a tube with a tail on the end i love that color white and chartreuse in our type of water which is pretty much muddy all the time does really good second one is going to be a pearl white. Just a little old swim bait. Baby shad. And yeah. The next one up that I think will do phenomenal. Is this thread fin shad. It's the original baby uh, shad. And kind of like a gray black. With a little bit of glitter in it. Next up, we have Nedlock Z's. Kind of like a screw lock. And if you've never used a screw lock, what you're going to do, if I can open these up. Come on. Without getting them everywhere. Is you're going to take your screw, push it down, push it all the way up, and then just screw it up and what that eliminates is i know a bunch of y'all have used uh plastic jig uh plastic swim baits all that and it keeps coming down after a little bit of fishing this will help prevent that it'll make your bait stay on your hook a lot longer so that's the reason why i bought those next up is going to be some power bait I've never used power bait. Uh, I just happened to see them and thought they would do phenomenal. These are the Fire Tiger color, kind of a green chartreuse color. And apparently it's supposed to make fish hold on 18 times longer. So we'll put them to the test and find out. Next two are going to be some more jig heads. These are the white with the red eyes. And then the red, yellow with the red eye. And these really do make a difference. I haven't used the yellow. I've used the white ones before and it, it made a significant change. And these are 1 and 16 ounce, or 16 ounce, 16th ounce weights. So they're really good for crappie fishing. Another good one is going to be these crappie sliders pink always does good any time of the year it's really loud colored and these are by crappie slider by charlie's brewer next up i've never used these before in my life i didn't even know there was such a thing as a rattling bobber but these are called the Rattling Pair. 
and you can hear them rattling. So we're going to try these out and see. I guess if you fall asleep, it might make, wake you up. I don't know. If you're fishing with live bait, you might get lucky that it wakes you up. I don't know, but we'll try them out and see. The next two things that I bought, they didn't have the right size of line that I wanted. Uh, this was the closest thing I could get was fluorocarbon by strand, 15 pound test. Uh, I, that's all I use is fluor, or I don't use only fluorocarbon. Strand is about the only brand of fluorocarbon that I use. And this is called their Fluoracast. And again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies or anything like that. I just picked these up just to try out and give y'all my thoughts. And the final thing, I'm going to have to cut this and open. I'll cut it open with this knife. If you hadn't checked out this review on this knife, I will leave a link in the description. Go check that out. One of my favorite knives. All right. The next thing that I picked up was a new spinning reel. I've got a rod in my Tahoe that I picked up for $50. It was the Ducket Ghost, and I needed a new reel anyways. So this one really stood out to me, mainly because it's a 5 to 1 ratio. has six disc drag system. Um composite frame i love the grip on it grips really comfortable this is 13s 13 or 1 3 and this is the creed series and i believe i only paid 30 dollars for it because it was on sale nope paid 40 dollars it was originally 49.99 but I got a $10 off coupon. But, I mean, it feels really good. Drags really good. But tomorrow, I will show you. I know some people already know how to use, how to put line on spinning reels. But tomorrow, our video will be me putting line on this one. And on that Ducket Ghost. Until then, we'll see y'all on the next video.